Giles, big news. Michael Carrizo has done it. He, yep. He's won the Park Pearl, and he's on his way to the Olympia. What are your thoughts? Well, I, I like I said, I was disappointed when, I, when he brought the prejudge, and I thought his chest looked flat, his tan was all over the place. He was kind of out of breath. He just looked really kind of like sloppy, you know? Tonight, he came back. I will say the tan wasn't perfect, but it was 70% better. Um, his color was okay. It was good. It was it was it was good enough. But um, as soon as he came out, he looked fuller. He looked he looked kind of more. He looked tighter. Everything yes. was kind of popping more, you know. So I just I was so relieved to see it. And his posing routine was I thought was really good. Yes. And um, and I literally I mean literally less than five minutes ago I had a picture with him on stage. And I tell you what, when you get up close to that guy, he is. I tell you what, he's colossal. I, I get it now. I get how. I mean. <laughs> I was like that. His arms. Oh, wow. like, it reminded me of. It reminded me of Ronnie Coleman's arms, like the actual the girth of them. Like they were like that. But That's for me, it wasn't even his. It wasn't even his arms. It was his shoulders. I mean, there's just so much size. But um, I mean, he's got seven weeks now to the Olympia. Yes. Um, I yeah. I I still don't think he could be a top ten guy this year. I'm sorry. But mm. I think he could be 11th through 15th. But you know, four weeks ago this guy was amateur. Now he's he's won the he's won the amateur Olympic three weeks ago in Italy. Yes, he's won his pro debut. You know, it was a good show. It was a great lineup. And um, I know he didn't beat any kind of A-listers, but um, he's won a pro show in his pro debut three weeks after turning pro. So that deserves a lot of credit. And um, he's going to the Olympia. So um, I think he's got seven weeks of you know. A lot of tightening up to do, but um, I think he's going to be—he's going to be a really exciting addition to the Olympia this year, Jen. And I can't wait to see him there. And I, like I said, I was just happy that he kind of fixed a few things by coming back to the night show, fuller, better tan. He looked harder. He looked like he, like even when they were cutting the poses, he wasn't—he wasn't out as out of breath. He wasn't, you know, like I mean, prejudging at the pre at prejudging, he was really struggling. So maybe he was a bit nervous. I don't know. You know, because this is this is a more competitive, this is the most competitive show he's ever done so far, and um, yeah, I'm really, really, really happy for him. And um, but like I said, I stood next to him and I felt like an absolute twig. <laughs> <laughs> My God, I'll post the photos on MD Instagram later. Oh, definitely, because literally, because literally, as soon as I finish this, I've got to run back downstairs, and we've got to get a lift up to show banquet, and it's um, it's a chateau or something like um. Adam, uh, one of the promoters. So we've got to we've got to be there. So they're expecting us to be there. Gotcha. So it was literally as soon as I so literally as soon as the show finished, I ran up to the room, and as soon as this is done, I've got to run and get a lift to the um uh, to the to the to the banquet. So and I, I'm really hungry. So I really do need to go, and I want to drink some wine. I can understand that 100. percent You worked very hard today. You and Lauren did an <laughs> outstanding job on the live stream. Did we do okay? Was it sounding oh, okay? Yeah. I think okay. You sounded absolutely perfect.